Hello friends, this is Rehan. In this tutorial, we will see what are the configuration customization we can do as a as admin in LiveFrame. Okay, this one doesn't include any coding. So as a admin, he should be uh, here. Like if he knows the features, that is more than enough, right? Like uh, he can deploy the can manage the settings of a live ray website okay so you don't he doesn't have to code so that is the advantages of CMS so let's see how we can achieve that using the live ray what are the configuration customization we can do as an admin okay that is objective of this tutorial okay so coming back to our site administration under configuration you could you can see that site settings application display templates social activity workflow configuration and mobile device families these are the settings which you can change as an administrator okay so so if you go to site settings we'll go one by one through all you have all the settings in this tutorial okay so first we go through site settings and you can also add a description for your site this is a life ray website you can also uh, this is actually site id which this is how it will get stored in the database using the site id only we will find the site okay it's a unique id that is given for individual site you can also uh, if you want to deactivate the site you can just uh, uncheck it if you want to activate the site you can just check it okay if you want the membership like anyone can subscribe to your uh, to your website you can give it as open if you uh, if you want to get restricted you can also set restricted private means the membership will be like you only you will you have to create uh, the users and those users can use your website okay so these are the three types of membership that your site can hold so in hello manual manual membership management okay so this also you know okay and the next is uh, what are the templates uh, we can use for uh, this thing public pages and uh, about the private pages i will tell you in detail about the templates because it's a very important concept next thing what you can change is you can also select the parent site uh, suppose if you have uh, for this company life ray is this actually sample data okay all of all of private websites uh, uh, the sample data are added here uh, so like if you want to choose which company is the primary company you, you can just choose that private by this apparent website okay so you can also limit the membership to the members of the parent site no one can become the parent site so uh, and also you can uh, if you want the, to show it in the breadcrumb you can also show it or else you can also hide it okay and if you save it all settings will get changed now the next is categorization so categorization you can also can create the categories uh, for the website like uh, one website is for consulting one website is for uh, taking training one website is for development uh, you can just create cat and create uh, categories and you can add those categories here since we have in the previous tutorials we have created two types of categories so for just for uh, we will add electronics and you can also add a tag uh, add tag here so suggestions if you go uh, you can also add a tag here life ray sample website training Rehan. so the current tag will come okay you can save it okay and the next is site url you can also change this to anything see if you can see if you uh, any user views the website then it will be shown as guest uh, under guest only it will be the website will be shown if you want to change this to guest to uh, something else also you can change here okay and this one uh, if you want to change uh, the, like if you want to connect to your own your own domain you can also give here if you want to connect to www.rihanhana.com you can also you can give the domain name here and this will get connected to your domain for private pages if you want to give you can also give here okay like as you know 
the corporate companies will have two portals one is a public portal and a private portal obviously okay so in that in that place you can do these things you can also uh, enable this directory index like uh, all the uh, all those contact uh, content and uh, documents and media will be stored in terms of uh, indexing and indexing will be enabled okay so we'll save it so here we haven't made any modification let us for now we will know the only the features which you can make modification you can you, you can try yourself in real time okay then the next thing is site template since we haven't created any site template uh, here uh, there is no template is shown okay so uh, there is a separate tutorial in my channel where you can learn about how to create site template this is actually the most powerful feature in library so i have created uh, created in a separate video do check my channel okay then next one is site map for creating a site if you want to generate a site map you can also go to this uh, go to this website for for more information for public pages and private pages for both you can check it out next is a robot uh, robot that is running in your site then that also you can mention here next is a default user association this one is like if a user gets subscribed or if a user creates a new account in our website what are the roles he should have you either you should be site administrator site content reviewer site owner you can give that you can also create your own site roles and you can uh, and you can keep it here and you can give that uh, give that to the user okay and uh, and you can also create some teams and uh, you can you can add that user to that team okay based on his roles okay this is a default user association okay next one is the staging staging is actually like before uh, when site goes to live we were, we have to like uh, think of a scenario like this uh, suppose a site is live okay now you have made some modification and you need to host it uh, host to make it live then you will use this option okay local live enabled on public pages and uh, if you are going to use, use the staging on public pages and what are the staging what are the content you, you should need to update what are the portlets you need to update uh, and the other portlets which you get added so since these are the portlets i have added it is showing the portlets which i have added so if you are going to add a, a new uh, your own portlet also it will also come and display here you can just need to check it and you need to save it okay since i am no i don't have any local live server so i am not going to use so if you are this is the uh, this is the one if you are using the remote server okay so you need to provide the ip port path of the context and a remote site id you can also check this use secure connection as i told in the first tutorial sir library is more secure than other cms like wordpress so you can create a secure website uh, so it can't be hackable so this is one of the example why it's very secure okay and you on page versioning also you can like if you have uh, updated any pages and if you want to uh, like uh, maintain the version for each pages you can uh, enable for both the public pages and private pages and the staging content what are the content which is going for remote live staging also you can choose okay so this is the staging next is the analytics okay so yeah, i think most of you are well known about this analytics like uh, who are who are the persons visiting our website from which region they are when they are visiting our website you can either uh, add a google analytics id or a pwik id okay it's actually a very simple process you need to register to the google analytics and you need to paste the code here that's it okay so uh, all the data will be captured and it will be sent to the google analytics profile from there where we can check uh, all this uh, information analytics information okay so here from life free itself you can do the analytics you don't have to the code and everything those things and all okay next is a content sharing suppose if you have uh, different sites uh, under uh, your own user and you want to share you use those content across the various websites okay then right now we are using only one site suppose if you are if we are creating uh, many sites 
then then we can't uh, use the content that is present in this game so if you want to share the content it by default it will be enabled only so if you want to disable you can also disable it okay so this is how uh, changing the content sharing for this particular site so that uh, the, all the contents from this site can be used by other sites as well then the next thing is recycle bin settings uh, like how many days uh, data which is moved to recycle bin should be maintained okay you can also enable or disable a recycle bin next is the custom fields so custom fields and uh, and this thing application display template i need to set take a separation since these two are more important uh, okay then the next is uh, display settings you can also set a default language or you can also set a custom language uh, like uh, other language so default language currently is this one you can also set a french language if you are from french region uh, library itself has provided around 12 12 languages uh, to add a new language you need to add it th so in that and all it's under development level that is uh, uh, you need to install all those things uh, uh, in uh, uh, in library in depth level so you don't have to concentrate more on that so we will, so by default it has provided two languages hope they will be updated with more uh, whole languages okay so these are the display settings currently we will use the default language in this language okay so we will save it so since there is no staging so we should remove the staging also none and save okay so these are the various settings which a user can change for under the site settings next one is uh, application display templates so application display template is like uh, itself has uh, as a set of uh, templates for blogs categories documents and media sitemap and wiki template and uh, so these template are all are already like uh, you can create your own template okay so like uh, for blogs suppose if you don't want the title of the blog or else if you want to add a title of a blog the, all these things can be created in this uh, using this application display templates okay as I have already told you um, both the custom fields and an application display templates I'm going to take it in a separate tutorial for better understanding because uh, we need to implement it using a an example okay so for now I have told you what is an application display template basically it is a template like how the blog uh, uh, blog which we are going to enter what are the fields it should have okay so I like the content title uh, date uh, date of its blogs posting expiry date and those things are all okay so it's like a template for an each application so uh, like uh, for inbuilt uh, by inbuilt we can we can create a template for asset blogs categories document sitemap template tags and wiki template okay so these are the default uh, templates which we can create uh, life has provided us to create even you can also programmatically include more things okay then the next thing is social activity so uh, if you have seen like um, in some websites uh, uh, you can you can find that uh, some users are uh, sub premium users certified users even in flipkart and some uh, amazon websites you can find that some people are certified buyers uh, okay certified buyers certified sellers so uh, similarly like uh, why they are certified buyers certified sellers like uh, they have good uh, customer reputation and they and they have bought a lot of content uh, okay so like uh, and uh, similarly like uh, the, a user who has entered lot of blogs uh, you'll be the you'll be the superior blogger it's like that it's like so uh, so how many blogs he is going to give he will be getting that many points okay all these points are set under this social activity so if he adds a blog the user gets five points so if he adds a comment he'll get two points if he reads a blog he'll get one point so all these uh, settings are, are set here okay so this will motivate the user for using your site so once he become a premium it's like he will get an uh, award like that you can also set a limit uh, limit also like uh, how many times a participant uh, so how many times he should participate okay yeah but for now we don't have to set a limit and the next is for a uh, similarly for blog with uh, for message board entry also 
if he answer a message or read some message or replies to a message or subscribe to a thread uh, he will get uh, he will get these many points okay uh, like uh, get five five participants for for zero or one contribution you can set the number of contribution also okay similar this similar in wiki page also uh, the next thing is workflow configuration workflow configuration as i have already told you this is actually a default uh, uh, sample a uh, workflow which is uh, which is uh, which is added to our database um if you have entered a block if a user has entered a block if you have given a single approver then the block uh, so you, you should need to go go to the single approver and you need to check the workflow how it's working with a default it will come to our to come to the administrator once the administrator approves the block's entry then it will get posted okay this is how workflow works and and you can also set these settings for various things for page revision blog entry web content article comments message boards uh, message boards page and wiki page and others also you can add uh, from workflow this is also one of the powerful feature in life road like site template and social activity okay and the next thing is mobile device families like uh, the and uh, the this in the, this mobile device families you will be adding the mobile mobile device family so like for for this specific website uh, for what are the devices uh, or like how it should look like uh, all the settings uh, you can you can add it here okay if you have seen in my previous tutorials we would be adding this mobile families for for site level and also page level and also uh, okay and, and also port level also we would have added okay this is a site level mobile families okay so that's all these are the configuration settings we can do uh, as a administrator the the powerful features like workflow social uh, workflow and application display template create and separate tutorials for your better understanding okay so guys stay subscribed to my channel and if you like my video uh, click that like button and see you guys in the next video bye bye